Is it possible to get a street pass in 2023? With the 3DS being over 10 years old now, and with the Switch taking over as the premier handheld Nintendo console, it seems impossible to get a street pass nowadays. If you can't remember what street pass is, street pass is a feature for the 3DS where if you were carrying your 3DS on you one day and you pass someone else who had their 3DS on them, you get a little not notification saying, you, hey, you met someone who had a 3DS on them today. It's just a fun little gimmicky feature that the 3DS had that I adored as a kid. I remember carrying my 3DS around with me everywhere just to get street passes. I've seen multiple videos of people trying to get street passes with a mixed success rate. But in this video, I'm going to be walking until I get a street pass. And here are the rules. My location of choice is the Mall of America, which is the busiest shopping center in my area with 40 million visits a year. I'm going to be going there, and as soon as it opens, I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk, and I'm going to walk until that light turns green. I will allow myself two 30 minute lunch breaks because I expect that I'm gonna be in the mall from open to close, which is about 12 hours. So I'm at the mall right now and they're about to open in like 20 minutes. It is a Saturday. So hopefully it's gonna be really busy and there's gonna be a lot of people in here. It's kind of dawning on me what I decided to do here. Walking for literally hours on end. This is more than an eight hour shift. I hope that I can find one today so I don't have to come here tomorrow and waste my whole entire weekend doing this. So here's my beautiful 3DS and you can see my beautiful reflection in it. Hello guys. Power on. It is on. And when this light turns green, we will know. We will know that we got a street pass. So I did my first lap on the first floor. It took me about 10, 15 minutes. Hopefully people are carrying a 3DS around. There's a ton of people. Now my first few hours walking around the mall, there was one thing I was really thinking about. And that was the fact that we're all unique individual people with different goals and dreams. But my problem was, was there someone just as unique as me carrying their 3DS around? Well, I was actually starting to get some clues as to the type of person that would have a 3DS on them nowadays. And I was actually starting to get pretty hopeful that I wouldn't be spending as much time on this challenge as I thought. I officially walked every floor here at the mall. I saw people playing Pokemon Go. I saw a ton of people playing Pokemon Go, which is super hopeful because the thing with Pokemon fans is they have DS's to play most of the Pokemon games. I'm really hopeful I got a street pass. I'm really hopeful, I'm excited to check. We'll check at lunch. I still wanna keep walking just to be safe. All right, so I've been walking for about an hour and a half. At least 70 people playing Pokemon Go, man. There's literally like a section there's like a balcony with like 30 people just sitting there playing Pokemon Go. In about two hours, I'm gonna be checking my 3DS. I think I got this. I think it's gonna be a lot easier than I thought. All of these people playing Pokemon. All of them. I swear all of them are playing. In about an hour and a half, I'm gonna get food and then that's when I'm gonna check if I got any street passes. So I've officially been here four hours and I'm taking my first break. Holy crap, that feels great. Question is, did I get a street pass? I literally saw someone with a DS bag. Let's just check and see if I got the street pass. Here is the DS. All right. Will it have a street pass? Will it have one? We got it, dude. We got it. Holy crap. That is crazy. That is insane. We got the street pass. That is unreal. Wow. We're done. We finished the challenge. I that is unreal. I mean, I expected to be in the mall for 12 hours. I literally expected to be here for two, the whole weekend straight, but it, it took one trip to the mall. Well, I'm gonna wait until I get home to open this. We got it. We got a freaking street pass. Now it actually took me a few days to check the street pass, but it didn't mean I wasn't excited to. One of the main applications that used the street pass feature was the street pass me plaza, which was a game where every time you got a street pass, you would get a me from that person's 3DS and you would get to know a little information about someone you never met before. Now to most people, this was just kind of a little gimmicky game to play every once in a while. But to young Shraden, this was a lot more than that. Would you look at that? All 1,737 of the people I've met. Ah, oh, dude, Amon? Amon was sick. Lord Gooch, what a legend, man. Cool guy, dude, this guy was epic. Mario Kart 7, it was such a great game. He's from Minnesota? Dude, I'm from Minnesota too. Jeff, Minnesota, no way. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Dude, this person, when I met this person, I was in a hard place, but question mark, question mark, question mark, you know, helped me through so much. Getting the street pass was not about the fact I got the street pass. It was about finally meeting someone new after five years and adding them to my collection of friends in my me plaza. So what surprised me the most is when I saw this, when I finally did check the street pass on my 3DS. So here is my 3DS. 
in all of its glory. Something happened actually. I got a super apps for Tomodachi Life and Super Smash Brothers, but it didn't show a notification for Mi Plaza. So it doesn't show a notification at all on the app there. Hopefully we got this. Hopefully there's still someone here. Dang. That's really disappointing. So we didn't get a street pass in Mi Plaza, but we did get one in Tomodachi Life. So we're gonna check that out. All right, so we did end up, we did get a street pass, but it wasn't a new friend, which is super disappointing. After finally checking that street pass, I was devastated. I walked for four hours and over eight miles to get that first street pass. And the fact that I didn't get someone in my Mi Plaza just broke me. I thought I'd just give up. I got the street pass. I can make a simple little YouTube video about the fact I got a street pass in 2023. Hooray for me. Even though it can make a good video, it wasn't good enough for me. It wasn't good enough for what I wanted. And right before I was about to give up, I decided to look again one more time at all the me's I've collected in my me plaza. All my 1,700 friends. And they reminded me of something. This challenge wasn't about the video. This challenge wasn't about making a good thumbnail and title. This challenge was about making a new friend. So I decided to do the hard thing. So the next Saturday that came up, I got ready. I prepared and I headed back to the mall. Now this time there was one key difference from the first time I went to the mall. And that was the fact that instead of keeping my 3DS in my backpack, I would keep my 3DS in my pocket and I would consistently check if I got a street pass so that I could just leave right after I got it. And so when I got to the mall, I started walking again. And this time it was definitely a lot more boring than the first because I already saw all the sights to see at the mall. I was so bored, but it didn't get me. I was determined. I was determined to get this street pass. I walked and I walked until my heels burned. I walked even though my body didn't want me to. I walked and I kept checking my 3DS. Every second I could, I checked my 3DS. I kept checking and checking and checking. It only took two hours. It only took two hours. I was literally walking around just thinking about how making friends is probably more difficult than I thought, but who knows? Maybe it isn't as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. You know? Let's check this and see if it's actually a street pass I want though. That is the question. All right, we're gonna check here at the mall because if it's not the street pass I want, we're going back. It's been two hours only since I've been here. Oh my gosh. It is, it is. The green dot right there. Holy crap. Guys, this is unbelievable. I have made a new friend after five years. We're gonna take a look, man. We're gonna take a look. Oh my gosh. Mark, I'm from Minnesota. No freaking way, dude. Now that I finally got the street pass I wanted, now that I finally have a new me to add to my street pass plaza and a new friend to spend time with, my life just felt complete.
In total, it took me about four hours and eight miles my first day to get a street pass. And my second trip, it took me about two hours and six miles to get a street pass. When it comes to how difficult it is to get a street pass in 2023, it actually ended up not being too difficult. You just gotta go to an area that has a lot of Pokemon Go players, and I'm sure you'll be fine. When it comes to my experience getting and making a new friend, what I learned is that making new friends is as easy as getting a street pass. You just gotta walk around a densely populated area until you meet somebody. Thank you everybody who tuned in this far into the video. I hope that if you enjoy this video, you consider subscribing because you'll keep getting similar videos to this. So why not? Hey, like you'll keep getting videos just as entertaining as this one if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, then, I, then don't subscribe. That's fine. Thank you for watching. Gen genuinely appreciate it. This video took me a bit to make. Have a great day.